Nearly three weeks after a plane crashed into it, a home in East Haven is coming down today. It's the home in which two sisters died. News 8's Ken Pierce is live in East Haven with more on the demolition. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Allie and Chris. Neighbors around here not happy that it's almost three weeks since that plane coming into Tweed crashed into two houses on Charter Oak Avenue, and that house is still standing. Last week, the homeowner's insurance for number 68 Charter Oak Avenue demolished that house. This week, well, the homeowner's insurance for number 64 still hadn't come up with a plan for demolition, so the town of East Haven went to the state, and between the two of them, they are going to knock down that house today. It's going to be more complicated than last week's demolition. Here's why. The plane still had lots of jet fuel on it when it crashed. Most of that jet fuel ended up in the basement of number 64. Perhaps that's why the homeowner's insurance was not coming up with a plan for removing that house. The plan that the town and the state came up with is they're going to take the top part of the house, remove that, take it to one location. They're going to dig up the bottom of the house, take that to a different location for treatment. The NTSB will take a look around one last time. Then state environmental officials will have to come in and make sure they got all that jet fuel and any other contaminants out of the ground. That whole process should take about 48 hours. When I spoke to East Haven's mayor last week, he said this was kind of a last resort. He didn't want the town to have to f uh, come up with the expense of demol demolishing that house, but he said you can't go three weeks having this reminder here for all the neighbors to see. We're live in East Haven. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.